The ancients were researching ascension. What exactly is ascension? An advanced stage of being where they were able to rid themselves of their physical bodies and rise to a higher plane of existence, one in which they, they live as pure energy. We know the ancients evolved physiologically to a certain point where they could transform into a state of pure energy. Ancient History 101. I am not fluent in ancient, but I do recognize a few words. Welcome and ascension. Ascension. To a higher plane of existence. The race of people who built the Stargate, they eventually evolved to a point where they ascended to a state of pure energy. Why did you come here? Well, I was born here. I mean, your people. Well, they came generations ago. I'm from a race of people who revered those who came before us, those who created this place. We call them ancients. To follow in their footsteps to ascend was the greatest goal among our forefathers. Many centuries ago, some of our people sensed it was within them to do so. It took them many years to discover the location of this world, and once they found it, they came to this world as a pilgrimage. We are their descendants. Not many of you left. No. We are the last. As Hedda has the power to heal, I'm able to see images in my mind. It's not uncommon for those on the path to ascension to gain such abilities. I wish you would have told me I could have used you out there. It took me forever to find this stuff. Before my mother ascended, she could move things with her mind. You could imagine how wondrous that would be for a child. You say we just fight it and see what happens. John? Friends of yours. We've come to stand with you, whatever happens. No, we've come to fight. And we are not afraid of you. Beast is of our own creation. And it is long past time we sent it away. That's it? That's all it took? You were right, John. We were afraid. The beast was the final burden we had to shed, manifest from our own fears. You gave us the courage to face it. Come with us. I'm not ready for that yet. I'm not sure I'll ever be. One day, perhaps? Yeah, one day. I look forward to it. There will be no need to destroy the sanctuary, Dr. McKay. What? No, 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 no. I wasn't thinking that. I was... We will keep the portal open for you until you're gone. Well, at which point the ZPM, which uh, undoubtedly powers this beautiful place, will the be available... The sanctuary was left by those who came before us, for those who may seek it out and follow the path. And it will continue to remain after you are gone. Yeah, but... Absolutely. harm these people, Sunad. Fire upon that ship. Do not be afraid. I won't hurt you. Kill him, Captain. He's evil. You could learn from these people, Sunad. They do not fear me. They don't know how dangerous you are. You and the others like you. That is what you and the other leaders have maintained for generations, but it is not true. Captain, my species is on the verge of a wondrous evolutionary change, a transmutation beyond our physical being. I am the first of my kind to approach this metamorphosis. The 
They tried to convince us it was a sickness we would never survive, that the pain and energy pulses would kill us. They claimed we were dangerous, so they destroyed anyone who exhibited the signs of the transfiguration. We were protecting our society. By murdering us, you saw the mutations as a threat to your authority. You were terrified of something you couldn't understand. Some suspected that what was happening to them was not evil. Four of us decided to flee Zilkan and let the metamorphosis take its course. You hunted us down, killed the others, but I survived with the help of a kind and generous people. There's nothing to fear. You can join me. All Zalconians can. Let me show Don't you. Don't touch me. As you wish. But others will listen now that you can no longer prevent me from telling them the truth. Those who are willing will follow me. Sunad is back aboard the Zalconian vessel, Captain. People are about to embark on a new realm, a new plane of existence, thanks to you. It is our mission to seek out life in all forms. We are privileged to have been present at the emergence of a new species. Beverly, you gave me life and more. I do not have the words for my gratitude or my sorrow at leaving you. what makes it so exciting it's as if i can see into a place where the distinction between matter and energy and thought no longer exists and that's only the beginning i feel as if all the boundaries within me are about to fall away it sounds interesting I only have to look at an object, gaze at it, and I can begin to see that the space between the atoms is being filled with something else. I'm going through a transformation. I don't know how or why, but every cell in my body is telling me that I'm changing into something more. It's starting. It's happening. It's happening to me. Her atomic structure is completely destabilizing. I give to you. He's not moving to the jump gate, he's just sitting there. Picking up energy search. How big? Off the scale.
I give you a gift. The only gift I have to give. Goodbye, Commander. I will see you again.